So hi, as she said, my name is Paige and this is Larry and we are co-coordinators of the Community Infusion Project. Community was started out of Skill Society, which is a local not-for-profit that supports the citizenship of people with disabilities. And today we're so excited to get to share a little bit about this innovative social change initiative with you. Perhaps a good place to start our conversation is with the concept of community belonging. What is it and why is it important? Well, community belonging is about feeling a valued member of your community. It incorporates our relationships and our roles. So who we relate to and what we do. The Community Foundation of Canada reminds us that there are two parts to community belonging. The first is about how we feel we fit into a group or a place. And the second is about how much that group or place welcomes and includes us. So community belonging is not all about a person fitting into a space. It's also about that space being welcoming and inclusive for multiple people. In our fast paced society today, there are fewer and fewer opportunities for us to connect with community. We tend to rush about our daily business, fly home in our cars and park in our attached garages, disappearing into the solitude of our homes. We believe this is a problem. Science tells us that belonging matters. In fact, some science suggests belonging is a fundamental human need, akin to food or water. When we feel as though we don't belong, our mental and physical health suffers. However, if we have a strong sense of community belonging, we feel happier, more satisfied, and as if our life has more meaning. Research also tells us that people with intellectual disabilities face rates of loneliness and social isolation significantly higher than their peers without disabilities. They often report few or no significant friendships and a very low sense of community belonging in general. We believe this is a problem. There are many reasons people with disabilities and other groups for that matter might face barriers in finding a sense of community belonging one reason might have to do with cultural factors or our society's shared beliefs and values about what is considered normal, acceptable, or typical in a community space. But today, we want to let you in on a little secret. At Skills, we know people with disabilities have many unique gifts and talents to offer their community. But we also acknowledge that not everyone knows this. There are still a lot of negative myths and stereotypes out there surrounding disability. We believe one way to bust these myths and break down stereotypes is to create opportunities for meaningful social connection between people. But how do we really achieve this? How do we draw people out of their homes to meet their neighbors? How do we bridge conversation between people of all abilities? This is where things get fun. This is the community infusion van. The T van creates a pop-up town square-like atmosphere where people gather, chat, and share in conversation over a cup of our signature iced tea. The cool thing about the cool thing about this the project is that it's run by people with disabilities. The premise is quite simple, really. Draw people in with a cool setup, eye-catching colors, and friendly smiles. But what is achieved is so much more. The van is the impetus for connection, sparking conversation and setting the stage for people with and without disabilities to get to know one another. A key ingredient to the van's success are community builders, or people with disabilities who are hired to make and serve the tea. These are two community builders who work the tea van. Now the van does two types of events, each with a unique purpose. The first is visiting larger local events and festivals. We set up shop at Kaleido Family Arts Festival and Hip Hop in the Park, just to name a few. Here, people with disabilities are hired as community builders to make and serve the tea and strike up conversation with people as they approach the van, showcasing their talents as citizens. The second type of event we do are community block parties, and these are so much fun. These events are hosted by individuals with disabilities who are supported by skills, and they create the opportunity for people with disabilities to host a vibrant community gathering, drawing people out of their home and into conversation with one another, neighbor to neighbor. Community Infusion has been running for over 10 years now, bringing good cheer, conversation, and sweet iced tea to events and neighborhoods all around the city. 
Our 2017 season is coming to a close, but we've accomplished a lot this year. This has been the leader of the COOL project. Before we tell you about our current season, let's fill you in on how the van works. People like you plan an event or a block party, and you shoot us a call or an email. We roll in with a van, a driver, Larry, <laughs> our sweet iced tea, and a super awesome pin-making machine. This year, we were invited to over 25 events. We connected with a number of local organizations, including Community Options, Inglewood Community League, Edmonton Down Syndrome Society, and the Windspear. We employed 12 people with disabilities and served over 1,300 glasses of iced tea. So to end this uh, conversation today, I'm gonna pass it off to Larry, and he's gonna share a little bit about his experience working the tea van. I am the cool, I am the coordinator of the tea van. I make and serve the tea at events. The big uh, part about my job is meeting new people. At first, I felt uh, nervous about meeting new people, but uh, working the tea van gives uh, me a lot. At first, uh, I felt uh, nervous at meeting new people, but working the tea van gives me lots of practice. Now I feel more comfortable about meeting and uh, open when I meet new people. One of my favorite parts of working the tea van is uh, having conversations with other people. I like sharing stories about life experiences. The, tea, the van is important and should keep going because it allows people to meet people, start a small conversation, and with some people, it may grow from there into a new friendship. Awesome. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.